Hey there, it is Tab the Caro, and if you're looking for like the easiest way to do your weekly newsletter for parents and students, I highly recommend a digital newsletter. You don't have to print anything like that. You just update it on your computer and you're good to go. So that's what this tutorial is going to be about. So keep on watching. First off, I definitely recommend downloading my free template for you in Boho Rainbow theme. And once you go to bit.ly slash free digital newsletter, you will be able to grab that link. And now we will customize your template. So once you get the download, you want to click on the link that I provide for you and make a copy of your newsletter. So this is what it will look like, which looks like a hot mess, but don't worry, your parents and students will only see what is on this canvas area right here. So what you want to do is just go ahead and customize it, change up the text for whatever, however you want to do it. Everything here is editable. So all these boxes can be moved around however comfortable you are with Google Slides. The fonts can be changed. Just go right here and choose what you would like. You can go to more fonts and, you know, choose handwriting if you're looking for something fancy or sans serif however you say that for something more for students and you can change that up and then the color scheme here um, i have for you if you want to keep it with this boho rainbow theme so let's say you want to change this teal color to something else I have already grouped all of the backgrounds right here together for you. So you can just click on fill color and you're going to see you have all of um, the color schemes for you for this boho rainbow theme already right here. But of course you can also change up this newsletter to be whatever you want, whatever different theme you want. You can get rid of everything that I have there for you. And you'll see that the different boxes are linked to slide one. What that does is just make sure, especially if you were to add more slides um, to this, it will just make sure if a student or parent taps around on this document on their phone, that it won't go anywhere um, to the next slide or whatever. It will just stay there. So that is why you will see those links and I recommend keeping them there um, unless it bothers you for some reason. So you can get in here, change the text, all of that good stuff. And once you've customized it however you want, then um, you are ready to do the most important part, which is creating the share link so that your viewers only see the newsletter part of your document. So it's just two steps to doing this. What you'll want to do is um, go to share. Right now it's most likely private only to you. You want to go to restricted and change that to anyone with the link viewer. Do not change that to editor, just viewer. If you have issues where you don't have this option, it may be that the email you have is a school email and they don't allow you to do this. So you may have to use your own personal email to create this document. So you will just click on done. You're good to go there. That's step one. And then step two is just to replace um, edit in your URL with this text in blue. And you have it there right for you right here. So you can actually just copy right from here to make sure you get it exactly right and then you will go up here to edit see this whole part you want to just highlight it all delete it and then paste that preview question mark rm equals minimal and then i'm going to just grab it all copy it go to a new window paste and this is what it will look like, your final product. So any changes you make to the newsletter will automatically show up the next time a parent clicks on that link or refreshes. So as you can see, I made that rainbow bigger. And there, once I just refresh the page, it shows up automatically. So what I do is every Monday or what I did every Monday is I would just 
when I was ready to update, I would update it all. And then it was good to go for the next week. So I definitely recommend bookmarking your document. So just right here, you will um, give it a name. And then once that shows up, up here, then, you know, Sunday, Monday morning, whenever you're ready to do this, you will just click and you're already in edit form and ready to update your newsletter and send it out to parents. And speaking of that, um, I definitely recommend making a easy, user-friendly URL for them instead of sharing the big, long share link, which your share link would now be, um, let's see, this right here, which is not going to be something that will be easy to share by word of mouth. Um, obviously, you can send it via online text, messaging, email, all that good stuff. But as far as just saying, hey, go here, it's going to be hard unless you use um, a URL shortener. So there's various ones. I'm just going to do tinyurl.com. And all you have to do is enter your long URL there and enter something that is easy to remember. So that may be your name. I'm just gonna put um, Coro 100 and let's see how that goes. This is not available. So let's do Senor Coro 23 for the year. All right, so that worked. And now this will be what I copy and what I can share, tinyurl.com slash Senor Caro 23. So that's just really good to be able to share um, verbally where your newsletter is. And you just want to get parents on board. So when it's open house, whenever you meet with your parents at the beginning of the year, please make sure that they know about this resource, that they have the URL. You can make um, business cards. I have those um, available in my full Smart Class website themes. Um, you can just do a handout, whatever it takes to make sure that parents know about this. But even having said that, you know, what you want to make sure that you do share weekly the link, you know, obviously don't expect parents to remember every Monday to check or something like that. You want to use some type of online messaging format, whether it's just an email every week that you send with the newsletter link or a messaging platform. I always used Remind and I will have a Remind tutorial up here right here for you to check that out. And I would actually schedule the text every Monday morning for the end of the day. So I knew when parents and students were most likely together to look at homework and what they need to do, then they were also getting that text to let them know, okay, this is what, um, the new week looks like. So definitely recommend that as well to make your digital newsletter a success and save you hopefully a lot of headache with communication and emails and all that good stuff. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them for you. And um, I have a Facebook group with digital um, creation, resource creation tips for teachers and for teacher authors. So I'll have a link for that in the description as well. I'd love to connect with you in my Facebook group also. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.